Hello and welcome. My name is Martin O'Connor and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create two balanced columns of spreadsheet data with repeating headers in Microsoft Word 2016. Well, what do I actually mean? Well, as you can see on the left hand side here, I have Microsoft Excel 2016 and I have some sample data. The problem is I have 72 rows of the sample data and I would like to be able to display this and show this on one page. Now, the reality is to put that as one column on a page, the font would be so small that it would effectively be illegible. So what I want to do is display it as I actually have it here on the right hand side in Microsoft Word. A nice title, I have the data here, displayed the four columns, displayed across two columns. And as you can see, each column has its own header and the columns are balanced. It looks nice visually and this is what we're aiming for. Perfect. So uh, to demonstrate this, let me open up a brand new blank document from scratch. So select blank document, and there we go. So I'm going to um, close the existing document. Um, there we go. Let me um, adjust my word. Um, bear with me there. Um, I think that fits just inside my recording. Great. So the first step is to copy over the title we wish to appear. So I'm going to select the title here for my spreadsheet and control C and paste it in. Um, I realize I've title spelled wrong, so let me fix that. Secondly, I already have it enabled, but you may not. Um, from the Microsoft Word menu bar, select view and ensure ruler is selected. So when it's not selected, this is what you'll see. So again, view and select ruler as I'm doing. Now we can visually adjust the margins, which I'll want to do, depending on how much data you wish to display. So I'm going to push up um, the margin, make the top margin smaller. If you want to precisely set the margins, you can simply select layout, margins, and choose either one of the presets or select custom margins as I'm doing now. And for example, I'm gonna select the left margin to be um, 0 0.6 centimeters, why not? And the right margin to be the same. So they're quite narrow, 0 0.6 centimeters. And the rest I leave as they are. Perfect, select OK. So as you can see, it's quite tighter. Um, I'm just going to type, this will make sense in a moment. I'm just going to type one or two words here. Um, first, second, third, that's enough. Just to show you that I want in particular to have a, a title that spans more than one column. Perfect. So um, I'm going to hit enter once, twice, just to give myself um, some working room. Next, I want to ensure that we have two columns. At the moment, we've only one. So from the menu bar, select layout, columns, and two. Perfect. Next, I'm going to copy in the data, the four columns with the headers. So I'm going to select the relevant data that I want. Um, and here I have it here, control C, and into Microsoft Word, control V. So as you can see, the columns have been pasted in, but they're somewhat disjointed, so to speak. Um, one column is far longer than the other, and one column has a heading and the other one doesn't. So we're going to fix that now. Um, the first thing is to ensure that our title spans both columns. And to do that, select or highl and highlight the column information and then select layout, column and one. And as you can see now, the, the title spans both columns and maybe hit enter here just to push it down. Great. Now I'm going to remove some of the spaces I've put here um, just to balance it. Perfect. And um, the next thing I want to do is to ensure that the column header information appears over both columns. So to do that, I highlight the header information as I've just done. I then select from the table tools ribbon, the layout, and then I select repeat header rows. And bingo, as you can see, the column headers now appear over both columns. Perfect. And they both start at the same position, which looks visually appealing. The only problem now is that the columns aren't balanced and it would be nice to have them balanced. So that's what I'll do now. Um, to balance the columns, simply select, or should I say, place the cursor after the last row in the rightmost column. So I'm gonna highlight it there. So you, all you have to do is place the cursor after the last row. And then from the layout ribbon, select breaks and then choose continuous and bingo. Our columns are now balanced. Perfect. So that's almost what we wanted. 
Um, it'd be nice, I guess, to have the column, for example, centered. So let's go to home and choose centering. And there we go. That's what I promised I would show you how to do at the beginning of our video. Again, you can adjust the, the margin sizes and so forth as you wish. But there you go. That's how to create two balanced columns of spreadsheet data with repeating headers over both columns in Microsoft Word 2016. Thank you very much. Any comments, uh, please leave them below. Thank you very much.